Hello everyone, my name is So Paul, or you can call me Paul. And today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D text uh, in Adobe Photoshop CFI Extend. So um, Adobe CFI Extend is the most powerful software uh, for design, any kind of design. So first, I would like to show you with the 3D text that the um, uh, look like 3D. So first you go to file and choose new. Uh, if you use a PC, you choose control N and then you tie the name. I tie 3D up. I can change the font. I tie 3D text. And then I choose the width with 900 pixels and high with 200 pixels and click OK. Now this look nice for the web header. So uh, from the web header or um, whatever. I just choose like this. And I'm gonna write the text in here but I will write Cambodian text called Khmer letter um, because I like um, write in the Khmer text you guys can write in English or whatever language you like let me write in Khmer the same language nothing different uh, even I write in Khmer language it will do the same way anyway it doesn't matter which language you are writing so I click here I'm going to write uh, come up I have to change the keyboard uh, I write property come here boom come not here this night ah. <coughs> And then I click yes here. It, you can adjust it bigger. You go to edit and then looking for transform and click scales. You can drag it and move it somewhere. Uh, drag a little bit bigger over here and over here. Well, I think that's good enough. Um, I click OK and now um, if you want to adjust character color whatever you choose this top color character and then <coughs> I choose 50% uh, for this one you can choose one until 75% 100 200 to make it space but I would like choose only 50% uh, and then now you go to the real 3d text so I choose color black I don't know why um, but black look clear you know, you can choose different color whatever you like but I would like to choose black color and now I going to choose 3d here and Oh, I have to click this one first and then go to 3D and choose Repose and then choose Text Layer. Whatever this pop up, you click Yes and wait for a while. My computer kind of slow and it work a bit slow. I don't know. It's coming now. It's running. But just wait if you push so hard and you force to click somewhere so hard, it will freezing it will and it will freezing so I choose this one this time and then I don't know why it come up with nothing like this maybe it's still running I cannot force it hmm. I cannot it waits let the Adobe Photoshop running okay it now I may choose this color 
paper look a little bit the uh, not so clear it look not so clear it's still running so now it if if it is not so clear I may choose uh, this color okay this one like uh, well it's good enough uh, to use this one just for example you can choose whatever you like and uh, different style of 3d different uh, materials of 3d style and here uh, so many that you can use even you can use this one um, <coughs> well let's choose this one for for the uh, 3d textile and that it it will running now I cannot press any if I press my Adobe Photoshop will close okay now I move this one over here and I adjust with the two to make it bigger to make it bigger and I gonna choose this tool to drag it a little bit adjust in the middle a balance both side and maybe I choose a little bit down here to make it uh, not look that's good or you can play around uh, this one how it's well uh, how it string string together um, I like its space this one I uh, make it more space over here probably not that good and this color look now um, not that's not that nice but you can choose different layer here for example I choose a this one let's see what it look like hmm so the sad though it going this way it look nice actually no I cannot move anymore with the running okay now it's come back so here it's a bit nicer actually a bit nicer and I will choose how about choose this color oh this one perfectly for me I really love this one it's very very nice okay now click OK I decide to choose this one I decide to choose this one now it's still running okay done now the uh, you have a 3d text in your com uh, in your Adobe Photoshop CS5 extend so now if you want to save it you go to file and then you choose save as and then uh, you want to save it in uh, jpeg or whatever I choose jpeg I still keep 3d text and then I save it in desktop and I click save and uh, maximum I will I would like my pictures quality is highest quality I click OK it now it's saved yeah thanks so much for watching my um, video tutorial how to make a 3d text in Adobe Photoshop CS5 thanks give me a subscribe or give me comment thanks for watching